Hello YouTube, uh, it's JMRLX here with uh, Seismo, my little crested gecko, and uh, we are going to show you how to prepare a Rapashi uh, crested gecko diet. Um, crested gecko diet is a meal replacement powder. Uh, you mix it with uh, one part uh, crested gecko diet and two parts water. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, it looks like he's a little jumpy today, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put him back in his cage and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so what I have here is uh, Rapashi Superfood Crested Gecko Diet. You can buy it um, online or at your pet store. Um, I picked this up from Petco is the chain I have here for uh, eight ninety nine. You can also buy it online for a lot cheaper. Um, I will link some uh, stores in the description for you. Um, the newest one is Rapashi 3.0. I would absolutely uh, suggest 3.0 over what I have here. Uh, the reason being is it's got a lot more um, uh, nutrients. It's the newer version. It's a lot better for them. They tend to like it more. So, uh, while I have this, I'll go ahead and show you how to prepare it, and uh, we will get started. So, what you're going to need here is your Rapashi Superfoods uh, Crested Gecko Diet. I've got my water. I keep it in a little condiment bottle. It's a lot easier to handle that way. I have a mixing dish, um, just a condiment cup I bought at a supermarket. And I've got food dishes. Um, the first thing we're going to do, uh, the Rapashi Superfoods, what I use is a little plastic spoon. So we're just going to open this up here. And I can show you the plastic spoon here. You can buy these online, at a craft store, anything like that. Any little scooper will work for this. So, um, here I'm going to scoop some out. I've only got two uh, crested geckos to feed, so I'm only going to use a little bit and I'll split it up between the two of them. So once we've got a scoop, just about that size or whatever uh, volume that you need for your geckos, I'm going to put it into my little cup here. There's nothing else in there right now but the crested gecko diet. The next thing I'm going to do is put in the water. Um, you can measure this with the spoon. Uh, I just drip it in and then I use uh, the spoon to mix it up. So we'll just leave that out here. And I'm going to go ahead and mix in just a little bit here. It's going to be very runny at first. Keep in mind that it will um, thicken up over time. So if you need to get a little bit more runny, especially for juveniles, that's probably the best way to go. Um, it helps them uh, consume it faster. So we're going to mix this up here. As you can see, just sort of get that for you. Mix it up here. Sorry, my hand's in the way. And the goal here um, is, especially with juvies, is to get it to where it's like a runny milkshake. So you want it to run out of the container um, for ease of access. So if you need to add more water or if you've added too much water and you need to do a little more uh, Crested Gecko diet, feel free to uh, mix it per volume. So we'll just add some more water there. And get it mixed up. Okay, so when I've got my powder um, into what's like a runny milkshake, as you can see how I've got it here, this might be a little too watery, so I'm just going to add um, a tiny bit more.
Okay. So once you've got the consistency about where you need it, um, we'll go ahead and put it into our food dish. Um, what I've got here, I've got two separate food dish. The, f the first and foremost thing I like to use uh, is a bottle cap. Make sure that uh, this was a water bottle cap, so I know it's going to be okay. However, um, if you're using uh, soda or juice or something along that line, uh, make sure that you wash it out because you don't want to be putting a lot of sugar um, and chemicals into your gecko through their food dish so that's a step I think a lot of people miss so just make sure you give it a good clean rinse before you um, decide to use that uh, the other thing if you've got more than one gecko in the same enclosure or if you've got a bigger gecko um, you can use these little plastic food dishes uh, I will link in the description where I got this. Uh, I actually got it from uh, Wally at Supreme Gecko. I got it at a reptile expo. Um, I was having troubles feeding my gecko, which I can cover here, um, and he gave me some suggestions. He gave me a couple dishes for free, so that was really great of him, and I have thanked him thoroughly, so I will give uh, a link in the description to where you can buy these. They sell them for really, really cheap. So, um, now that we've got our food dishes here, I'm just going to go ahead and fill one up. And I'm going to throw this right into there. Just let it run. Yeah, as you can see, it's already thickened up a little bit since I've been talking here. Like that. Make sure you get all of it. Since it's a little more expensive, um, you just want to make sure that you get every last drop. I wouldn't plan on wasting any of it. Um, I keep mine in the container like this, uh, in the right in my reptile room here. However, uh, if you put it in a container and put it in the refrigerator, it'll actually last you a lot longer. So keep that in mind. Um, I just plan to upgrade as soon as this is done uh, to the 3.0, as I mentioned before. So now that we've got our food in the dish, you're ready to put it into your terrarium or your enclosure, and uh, they are good to go. Now, um, as I mentioned earlier, Wally did help me with figuring out how to uh, handle when my crested gecko was not eating, and this was a few weeks after I got him. So I'm going to show you how to prepare with that going on. So what we're going to do is um, you're going to prepare it the same exact way. You're going to use your rapashi. Um, you're going to put it, put some in here um, with the equal parts water. Oh, I'm sorry, the two parts water. So just get some in there. And we're going to mix this up. Now, a lot of people like to use baby food. Um, this is a debatable subject. I actually would suggest not using baby food uh, with your crested gecko. The number one reason is that it's not for crested geckos, it is for babies. Um, there's a lot of research you can do online uh, to determine what you should use. Um, I would personally stay away from the baby food. It is just, it's not good for them. It doesn't have the nutrients that they need. Uh, and like I said, you can just read about that online. Um, so after I've got this all mixed up here, just like a runny milkshake, it's actually the perfect consistency right there. Um, what I'm going to use to sort of help entice my gecko more, uh, get this in the dish here. Also always put it on one side. Try not to smear it around. Um, it's easier to tell if they've been eating it this way and then also when it's in a dish like this uh, it's easier for them to get to. So once you've got your um, crusty gecko diet in the dish here right in the corner uh, what we're actually going to do is use honey. You don't want to use a lot of this. Never ever ever use a lot of this. Uh, part of the reason being is that they'll only eat the honey. So um, I'm going to show you here, and sorry, my honey jar's a little gross, um, how to do that. So what we're going to do here is you're going to get a tiny drop of honey right on your finger. You can use a Q-tip for this. Um, I would take the ends off or toothpick. So we're going to get just probably that amount. 
Um, this may be a little too much, but don't worry, I'm not feeding this to them, so get maybe three quarters of this size. Um, what we're going to do is take the dish in the corner that you have the Crested Gecko Diet, and you're just going to smear it on the side, just like that. Um, a little bit of the honey will drip into there, that's fine, you can swirl it in if you want. What this will do is entice them, they'll smell that honey, it'll get them over to the dish. Once they start licking up all the honey, they're inevitably going to get some of that Crested Gecko Diet. Once they uh, taste that, they're going to be okay with it and they're going to know that that's what they need to eat. I did it with my uh, little Crested Gecko. I've got two, a big one and a small one. Um, I tried it on the small one and I had him eating within two days. So uh, if you have any questions on that, you can uh, PM me or send me an email through my website. I'll link those in the description as well. Um, as for now, that's all I've got. So that is how you prepare the Rapashi Superfoods Crested Gecko Diet. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.